follow the deacon's instructions. Trip is trip is contagious, I think. <laughs> Philosophically, the reason the man belongs on Mount Rushmore is this is the event. He is he cuts through to the rock. Now well, that's a foundational metaphor, but we'll use it. <laughs> cuts through to the rock of the event. Keeps you uh, keeps you keeps you resonating with the event, and he doesn't let you uh, pause over or get stuck with with surface belief. He doesn't let you get caught up in the, uh, the religion. <laughs> Saves you from religion. Preach, preach it. And <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps us safe by protecting us from the safety of religion. And he exposes us to the risk. Exposes us to the event. That's philosophical reason. But let me tell you another reason why he belongs to that brush. And that is, uh, I knew him, you know, pretty well. And we brought him to Villanova very often. And um, I'll tell you two, two little things about him. One is he's very conscientious about his obligations, and so rather than being, uh, a, you know, a pain in the ass, he, he was a very lovely man, and uh, he uh, was quite conscientious about his duties, and he would always call me ahead of time to make sure that everything that he was supposed to do was uh, clear, and that someone would pick him up, and that we would that the train, and, and uh, everything was in order. And sometimes when he would call me, my wife would answer the phone. So, hey, that's we, you know, it was before the days of call waiting and their call, call or ID. So, uh, she would answer the phone. And uh, he would say, hello, Kathy. Mm -hmm. So he knew her name, he remembered her name. And he would talk to her for five minutes. And ask about the family and the kids and... And just chat with him. And then finally, he said, well, you know what? This is, this is Jacques there. Mm -hmm. and he's talking to Jacques, but I need to talk to Jacques about the, the conference. <laughs> and then I would give him that. That moved my wife. She's, my, my wife had a, she said, there are two kinds of academics. Those whom you're allowed to bring home. <laughs> and the others. And Jacques was among the ones I was allowed to bring. Now the other thing, the personal thing I'll tell you was this. Um, every year at those conferences we would have a very lovely dinner. And uh, before dinner, it's a Catholic university, uh, the, uh, there would be a grace before meals. And uh, usually one of the Augustinian priests would, would, say, would say grace. And uh, Jacques would strike a posture of perfect composure. He, he, his entire body would become uh, one act of reverence. And he would bow his head and he would close his eyes. And he was in a state of pure prayer. No, I was talking about tonight. Pure prayer. And when he died, he left a little note. And he said, thank you all for being here. Uh, don't weep for me. I'm smiling at you wherever I am. So, to Jacques, Jacques. Jacques. Where, wherever you are. Jacques.